Suggested by the Geeky Fanboy, today I'm going to be ranking all 14 Marvel slash Spider-Man short films that we have made from worst to best. And I will also be including the Donut Films, Iron Man short films because these those three short films are all part of the same universe, so I'll be including those as well. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Coming to number 13 is going to be the Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, Spectacular Spider-Man. This is the first ever Spider-Man short film we've ever made on this channel. And it is also the worst Spider-Man short film we've ever made on this channel. Wow. I mean, what can I say? This was just made for fun. I just wanted to make this because I just I love Spider-Man. So I wanted to make this little dumb short film. And uh, yeah, it was just me pretending like I was fighting a bunch of Spidey villains. But it was just a bunch of pitches it's just a bunch of pitches and it's just like hey look I'm, I'm fighting them you can tell I'm fighting them because of the pitches and yeah it, yeah it's low quality and it's really it and a lot of random shit going on and uh, yeah that's it that's our first Spidey short film let's just move on Coming to number 12 is going to be the Spectacular Spider-Man to the Dark Side. Yeah, this is the one where I'm in the black suit, the symbiote. And I do remember having a pretty good time making this film, um, you know, because it's a little more interesting, you know? I'm in, I'm in the black suit, the symbiote. You know, I've got, like, all the power, apparently. <laughs> Like I said, I did have a pretty good time making this film when I was like 9 years old or 10 years old. But overall, this it's not all that enjoyable. There's some really random shit that happens in this movie and a lot of really random shit that I say in this film. <coughs> wow. The way this is made is pretty much the exact same as the first film, except I guess I had a little bit more fun because of the black suit. And yeah, I just remember having a better time making this film. That's, that's the best I can say. So yeah, let's move on. Coming to number 11 is going to be The Spectacular Spider-Man 3, The Final Chapter. Yeah, I bet you remember this one. Yeah, this is the, the, the third one. Yeah, and this is like a rematch movie between Spidey and our made-up villain named Vade. Yeah, and, and they do fight in this film, and I, which I cannot show due to it being a little too inappropriate, and I gotta obey YouTube's rules, so cannot show the fight. But uh, yeah, this was, um, I don't know, I guess I saw a little more into this film than compared to the first two. I don't really know. It, it, there's, there's just a little more into it than compared to the first film. Or first two movies, sorry. And that's all I can really say. There's nothing, there's no, this film isn't great or really all that good. It's just well, a little bit better than those first two films. That, that's really it. And yeah, let's, I guess, move on. I don't know. Coming to number 10 is going to be Iron Man 2 Rise of Doom Part 1. This is one of Donut Film's Iron Man short films, and uh, this film isn't great, not very good, not gonna lie, and um, I don't know, I guess what I can praise about this film is, um, uh, I guess maybe during the final battle you, you can see that Tony is obviously, uh, he's actually hurt, he's bleeding. And you can actually see some, he's actually damaged during the final fight. And like, oh damn, he's actually hurt. Like, wow, like he looks like he's about to die, I guess. Like a little bit, kinda. But then it gets a little bit silly when you got scenes like these. Ah! Oh, Dr. Doom's got me! I'm not saying this film is good. I'm, I, I never said that. I never said this film is good. Okay, let's move on. Coming to number nine is going to be Iron Man. Donut Film's first Iron Man short film where we are introduced to... Bo's version of Iron Man, uh, who I guess in this um, feels uh, sad sometimes and confused sometimes and kind of a dick sometimes. Hey dude, limited edition! Do you think I care? Wow. Sorry, I keep using that clip a lot, I just can't help myself. But yeah, Donut Film's Iron Man short film with a pretty hilarious final battle. <laughs> hilarious. Now let's move on. Coming up to number 8 is going to be Secondary Spider-Man. Yes, Jason's little new version of Spider-Man gets his own 5 minute short film. And um, I never thought this film was all that amazing to be fully honest. It's kind of like your typical Spider-Man short film being made by us. Nothing really all that different. You got a little fight scene between Secondary and our made up, made up villain named Vade. Which I cannot show obviously because it's just not... It's not appropriate. So, uh, and you also got the villain, the main villain in this film, who is Carnage. Yep, Carnage. We're in the year 2021, and we're actually getting a full, big live action movie with Carnage and his all of his CGI glory. We're in that point in life now. Uh, but back then, back in 2016, we had. Come fight me! Yeah. Ugh, ugh. It's 
move on. Coming right to number seven is going to be Iron Man 3 Rise of Doom Part 2. Now, easily what made this film a little bit more enjoyable compared to the first two Iron Man short films is that this one had secondary Spider-Man. You know, having secondary and Iron Man team up together on this film made it a lot more enjoyable and seeing them fight bad guys back and forth, you know, seeing secondary and then seeing Iron Man again, it was pretty fun and it made it definitely made it a lot better. Nonetheless, that's really it. That's really it. That's uh, made this film a little bit better compared to the first two. It's not amazing by no means, but it's ma it made it a little bit better. And, you know, I guess they actually did try to get an Iron Man armor in this film this time around. So they just kind of looked in the corner of Bo's room and saw something very magical and thought that was perfect. And then BAM! There you go. You got your Iron Man armor in this film. BAM! There you go. Yeah, that's, that, that was pretty much it. So, yeah. I don't know. It's fine. Let's move on. Coming up to number six is going to be Secondary Spider-Man 3 Downfall. Now, there is, there is, this film actually isn't too bad. There are, this is a pretty enjoyable short film. Um, it's just that, you know, there's a few parts in the short film that are just obviously not great in all means. With the opening of Red Skull, it was okay. You know, you've got the typical pictures of Red Skull that obviously just doesn't look great. But there are some stuff you can enjoy that, you, that is pretty enjoyable in this film. Um, some cool little minor fight scenes and stuff and whatever. And, but you got some other stuff, some like really out of nowhere twists, like... I'm Black Widow. And just some really disgusting images like this, like w what the hell is this, like come on. But either way, it's not too bad, it's pretty enjoyable, it's just got some stuff in here that's just kind of, kind of, I don't know, doesn't, it's not, doesn't feel right for me. But yeah, let's move on. Coming to number five is going to be Spider-Man The Origin. So this is pretty much my fun little way of creating, recreating the the classic or origin story of Spider-Man. And I don't know, I don't really know what a lot of you, a lot of people think about this movie. I honestly don't mind it. I think it could have been maybe a little bit shorter. Um, and it's all by it's not an amazing movie, like I've said a hundred times in this video already. But it's obviously not an amazing movie. Obviously, but I don't know. I actually don't mind it. I'm not, I don't just look back at this and be like, "Wow, I just why did I make this?" And so much. I saw. So, I'm so ashamed that I made this. Like, I actually don't mind looking back at this and be like, "Oh, this is kind of nice. Good memories and stuff." Um, you know, it's got some half bit of nudity, nudity in this that I'm obviously not going to show. But uh, yeah, that's that's there. Um, you know, there's a lot of scenes that I use the um, soundtrack from Spider-Man: Homecoming. So there's that and. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have my, like, little homemade suit in the movie. That was kind of cool. And yeah, I don't know. I don't mind this film. I, I don't mind it. I don't regret making it. It was kind of fun to make. So, yeah, I don't mind. So, move on. Coming into to number four is going to be Spider-Man Plays Minecraft, the movie. Yeah, um, I always love coming back and just looking back at this film just because, like, Spider-Man The Origin, these are just really good memories. This is just literally your typical Spider-Man Plays Minecraft episode just turned titled a movie and that's that's really it i don't i don't know um in this it's like i just said literally just your typical spider-man plays minecraft episode uh with morbius as the main villain who i guess is like a hacker who hacks minecraft and leads to spider-man dying at the end so that's pretty sad but yeah i'm i like looking back at this film and i always enjoy it i like the the editing with the music and stuff that's really cool i really like that just looking back at that really really cool and there are some pretty fun stuff in this film and yeah, and uh, I don't know, Dylan's performance as Morbius is pretty funny. <laughs> Dylan, if you're watching this, even though you're definitely not, thank you for that amazing performance. Let's move on. Coming up to number three is going to be Spider-Man A New Beginning. So yeah, this is the one where Spidey, Secondary, and Iron Man all finally come together and they they assemble and fight Doctor Doom. And uh, yeah, that's literally enough to put this here in the on the list and it's just it's a really fun short film um you know it does have dr doom as the villain and kind of just your typical fight scenes with us pretending that we're fighting dr doom with just a bunch of images slapped on you know just kind of typical but i don't know they're still pretty fun to watch they're dumb but they're fun to watch and i don't know i really like this film you know all of us come together and stuff that makes it so much better and uh it's got some really fun moments I really like this film, and there's definitely this one joke in the movie that really makes this film stand out. Who wants Uncle Ben Rice? What? Coming to number two is going to be Secondary Spider-Man 2 Arrival of the Kingpin. Yes, Kingpin is the main villain in this, and he's actually an actual human being, not some fucking picture. He's played by Bo, and he's actually an actual human being instead of just being some photo from Safari. Thank the Lord. So that immediately makes this film just stand out the most is that it has its main villain that is an actual person. 
awesome, great. And we have an epic fight scene between Secondary and Kingpin that I cannot show because it's a little too, it's not appropriate for YouTube, so I'm very sorry. But yes, whatever, it's just great that we finally get to have a Kingpin who is an actual villain and an actual human being. And overall, this is actually a pretty fun short film. I do enjoy looking back at the short film. It is really fun. It was a really fun short film to make. And you know, the way, I guess the, the disappointing thing about this is that the way it ends, we didn't really know how to end it, so it kind of just ends with uh, this. Wow. Yeah, and what is, to my opinion, the best Marvel Spider-Man short film we've ever made? Well, it's gotta be Spider-Man Gargan Vengeance. Yes, I know, it's not a great title and all, but I don't know, this is easily my favorite Spider-Man Marvel short film we've ever created. Uh, it's really just a big step up compared to all the other short films we've made. This is really a big improvement. It literally has everything. You know, you got a nice little fight between Spidey and Secondary, which was just really cool, and then at the end, you got a lot of really big green screen monster, which, you know, isn't doesn't look great, obviously, but, you know, it's, 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 I think it's a lot better than it just being a bunch of pitches and shit. It's a really big improvement. I don't know, this movie is just everything that the other films wish I wish they that they would be, and this film is just a really big step up. I love this film, it looks great, the editing is really good, and I am really proud of this film. I thought it was never gonna get, it, it wasn't gonna end up looking good at the end, but it looked great. You know, you got a few Avengers set up stuff in here, you know, set up maybe an Avengers film, which I will talk about at the end of this video, and uh, yeah, I don't know, I really love this film, fun film, fun stuff, great editing, and I love this film. Alrighty guys, this is going to be the end of my ranking of all the Spider-Man Marvel short films we've made. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Thank you again to the Geeky Fanboy for suggesting for me to do this ranking video. I really appreciate it. And if you've got any other rankings you would like to see me do on literally anything, um, movies or whatever, please let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys next time. And I think there was something I said I wanted to talk about at the end of this video, but I don't rem remember what I wanted to say. What was it again? Um, uh... <laughs> sorry, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I guess I don't remember, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye-bye.